Hi, welcome to the tutorials on Pathway Designer. In this first video, I'm going to show you some basic concepts uh, in using Pathway Designer. Pathway Designer is a tool for drawing chemical or biochemical networks on the screen and then simulating the resulting uh, networks. So on the screen here, you see uh, Pathway Designer in the middle in this uh, large white area. This is the canvas on which you'll draw your network. Along the top is the toolbar where there are basic things such as uh, loading and saving models. And then down the side, you have various things you can use to draw your network. So let's consider drawing the simplest possible network where we have a species A being converted to a species B. So first of all, I will select uh, the species button so I'll do that then I'll drop down two species by default these are called node something node 0 and node 1 in this case uh, if I double click on one of them it'll bring up the the design panel and here I can actually rename it to A so this is now a node A uh, here I'll give it an initial concentration let me move to node 1 I'll rename that to B I'll keep its concentration at 0 so I finished with that I close it um, I can rearrange things if I like, so I can change the uh, position of nodes. Uh, the next thing I'll do is join these two these two species with a reaction, and the reaction I'm going to pick is this, the uni uni. I select that, select the, the reactant node, select the product node, and you can see I have a reaction. And likewise, I, when I move the node around, the reaction follows. If I select the reaction, I get these control points, so I can uh, re reshape the uh, reaction if I want. Um, let me double click on the reaction. It brings me up the reaction uh, window. Uh, by default, it's an irreversible mass action with a default rate constant of 0.1. Let's say let me change that to 0.15. I'll close that window. So now we're actually ready to simulate. In fact, uh, let me just confirm that things are okay. If I hover over A, you see it's got a concentration of 10. Hover over B, it's got a concentration of 0. And the reaction itself has got a mass action with a rate constant of 0.15. So now let me bring up the time cost simulation panel, which is this one. Let me bring up a graph viewing panel, which is this one. Now at the moment, there's nothing uh, being plotted uh, or will be plotted. I have to set, tell the computer what I'd like plotted. And to do that, I click on the edit output list. And here I have things that I can get plotted. And this, this is the list that on the right will actually get plotted. So what I, what I want to plot is A and B. So I double click A, double click B, and you can see on the selected list I get time, which is the x-axis, and A and B, which is the y-axis. If I click OK, the graph changes. You see now that the the y -axis, the x-axis becomes time, and the legend changes to A and B, showing that A and B will be plotted. And I can these two other buttons appear down here, A and B, and I can bring these in and out if I want to selectively plot these two at a later date. So I'm ready to do a simulation. I'm going to set, this is the time start, this is the time end, this is the number of points to plot. All I do now to run the simulation is just hit the run button. And there you can see we have a, a simulation. I can resize this window if I like to make it look better. Um, so th that's basically it. So you can see that A declines exponentially, B rises uh, to the maximum value of 10. Okay, that completes the uh, tutorial.